Upkeep for Monday, June 21st, 2021. That's right. It's all the magic news you need in 10 minutes or less. And buckle up because we've got some big news starting with a summer super drop from Secret Lair. Ooh, that's right. This is the quote to all natural, totally refreshing summer super drop. I was confused by this name because it doesn't seem all natural. But it is, I guess, totally refreshing. Sure. <laughs> I mean, I think it's supposed to be like a summer beverage. Okay, sure. Okay. I'll buy it. You know what? <laughs> Let's I mean, go. Will you? <laughs> Saturday morning D and D. They say this is trying to create the feeling of watching a D and D cartoon on Sunday mornings in the '80s. Great. That has five new arts by Tyler Walpole. This is a vibe I can get behind. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, they they look really really nice. Another one they're doing is an artist series featuring Mark Poole. Yeah. So that's that's a bunch of classic art, five of them again, specifically by magic artist Mark Poole. Yeah, so if you're into some of that old school magic art, here you go. Yeah. Then there's a special guest Fiona Staples. She's known primarily as the comic book artist of Saga. Wow, big get. Among many other things. Really, really cool. Yeah. I, I love this one. I also love the next one, which is yeah. special guest Jen Bartel. She's an Eisner Award winning comic book artist for Marvel and many others. Wow. And both of these, I think, are just like really incredible. They're, they're awesome. They're very, very cool arts. Uh, there's the five original Phyrexian Praetors yes. for sale too. In their, you know, in their special Phyrexian Yeah. So if you, you can't speak Phyrexian, I guess you're out of luck. Exactly. But if you can, <laughs> then grab those five. <laughs> or call a judge for an oracle ruling. <laughs> yes. Then there's Mother's Day 2021, which is four arts of Mother of Runes. These are incredible. Yes. There's some really amazing art in this one. And I love that they got one by Rebecca Gay. Yep. And then one by her daughter also. They're so beautiful. So cool. And welcome back, Rebecca Gay, to Magic. Yes. Because it has been a hot minute. It since really she's been has. around. And I mean, it's incredible. Yeah, it's so. just really, really cool. Yes. I wish Rebecca K was my mom. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> then there's two sets called Dan Frazier is Back. <laughs> I mean, like, let's just call it what it is. Yes. That's Dan what Frazier it is. is back. <laughs> there's one for the allied colored signets and one for the enemy pair signets. And these are uh, like an old school frame and Dan, uh, Dan Frazier is the original artist of the Moxon. Yeah. So these are kind of in that style. It's art for all of the signets um, in Dan Frazier style. Old border. Very cool. I think these might be my favorite of all of them. Because wow. they legitimately look like he painted them back yes. in the early 90s. It, it really does. These it's are pretty legit. pretty awesome. Uh, they also say, so with all of these, they come in new slimmer packaging, which is half the size and will reduce plastic use by 91% by volume. And only the card wraps in plastic will remain. Yeah, this was a big deal. Uh, people were posting this on the internet over the past week. They're like, why is Secret Lair packaged like this? It's so much waste. And they're 100% yeah. right. So happy to see this getting slimmer packaging, hopefully even slimmer in the future, because I do not need all that stuff when I no, buy one of these. You don't need packaging. I You're just, there for what? inside the box. Right, I just want the cards, please. Thank you. Yes. I don't need all this song and dance. And as always, there will be play mats from Ultra Pro and other merch uh, with art from these drops that's available in the MTG Pro shop during the sale. Yeah, they've got t-shirts, messenger bags with this art on it, which is, I think, a really neat little bonus. And of course, they're doing the bundles that yep. they usually do for the super drops. There's one where you get each of them in foil. There's one where you get each of them in non-foil and a huge bundle yeah. where you can get one of each in foil and non-foil. Wow. Yeah. So whatever your heart desires, the secret layer has got you covered. Yep. Next up is a bunch of post-season news for the Magic Pros. There's, you know, all of the gauntlets yep. are still happening. Uh, first up, though, is the final league weekend, which is coming up the July 4th weekend. It's the last chance for points for the postseason, and four more people will be added to Worlds, two from the Rivals and two from the MPL. Yeah, so we're going to give you a rundown on all the postseason stuff now that's coming up so you can put it on your calendar or at least know what's going on. Yes. Yeah, so the first thing is the Challenger Gauntlet, okay? Yep. That is August 6th through the 8th. This is featuring the top 24 non-league players, so anybody who wasn't in the Rivals or MPL this past season, mm -hmm. from all 
three of the 2020-2021 championships. So that was Zendikar Rising, Kaldheim, and Strixhaven. Whew, okay. So yeah, we got the top people nice. who are not MPL or Rivals League members battling it out in the Challenger Gauntlet. Standard and Historic is going to be the format. The top four get an invitation to Worlds, which is huge. Nice. And the next top eight are invited to the Rivals Gauntlet, uh, which then we're we'll, going to talk about that in a second. But that awards spots in the MPL or Rivals for the 2021-2022 season. Whew, okay. Then there's the MPL and Rivals Gauntlets, which happens September 2nd through 5th. So it's a one wow, big weekend. That's a huge one. Of both of those. Again, standard and historic the rivals gauntlet has 24 players the eight top finishers from the challenger gauntlet 12 of the lower ranked rivals players who weren't relegated yeah so that's 21 through 32 and four of the lower ranked mpl players that's 13 through 16 the winner gets a world's invite plus a spot in the mpl second through fourth get a spot in the mpl and the rest are in rivals yeah so the worst thing that can happen to you going into the rivals gauntlet is you you're in, in the rivals, rivals. <laughs> <laughs> which is pretty sweet yeah and not too bad let's talk about the mpl gauntlet so this is also occurring at the same time as the rivals gauntlet like you said yep. it's also 24 players just like the rivals gauntlet eight of the top mpl performers from league play so that's spots five through 12 16 of the top ranked rivals players that's spot five through 20 and the top three get world's invites and get to come back and play in the mpl next year fourth through eighth get to be in the mpl once again and the rest are relegated to rivals. Woo. So again, the worst that can happen. Just in you're in rivals. You're in rivals. <laughs> so really nothing too bad can ha can yes. come from those two tournaments. Uh, the World Championship is October 8th through 10th and this is the biggest yes. probably splash that was made <laughs> yeah. in all of this announcement. The prize pool is $250,000 plus of course the card in their likeness yep. um, which we've seen Elite uh, Spellbinder. Yeah. And uh, what's... Fervent Champion. Fervent Champion. Yeah, for so Javier far. Dominguez. Uh, which are very cool, but where the, where that money, though? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so what is happening here is this prize pool was announced in this article as 250K, kind of, you know, at the bottom yes, of the article. At the bottom. <laughs> but some of the eagle-eyed pros out there said, no, 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 no. I don't remember this prize pool being so small, notably among them, Gabriel Nassif. He said in an article from 2019, this was in August 2019, the prize pool was listed as $1 million dollars and yeah. that article was still live so you could go and check it and indeed it was so it was yeah. previously listed as one million and now of course that is before covid that is before all this wild stuff happened when they were changing around the entire structure of the mpl and rivals league seasons because of the pandemic yeah and so i think probably somewhere in there the money got changed and yeah. moved somewhere else and now like once if you've ever been in a business you know if they, <laughs> if they move money it's like gone <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> goodbye. Say goodbye to that money. So it went somewhere else. Who knows where? And it is gone. And the pros are upset, rightfully so, because yes. that's a huge cut. I feel like someone was like, like, I get why wizards thought they could do it yeah they were like oh that's a that was an announcement from 2019 yeah about what should have been the world championship for like the the next season right and then that tech that season was ended up being the 2020 partial season Correct. instead of a full season and the world championship never happened right. it was the season grand finals instead yeah and so they were like well that event that we said would be a one million dollar prize pool didn't happen and this is a different world championship yep I get it. <laughs> Is it the correct decision to have made? No. <laughs> yeah. This stuff is uh, pretty complicated, but also like you should stand by what you said. Yes. That's what people prepared for. That's what they thought yeah. it was going to be. And that's what it should be. And do you know what? If they had taken a big hit during COVID, I think everyone would have been yeah. like, we yeah. can we, kind we of understand. see this. But as everyone knows, they did not. No. The opposite. No. And so I think it's especially difficult for people to stomach this kind of change. Yeah, I think that's right. Uh, Gab Nassif tweeted that he's going to start practicing more for Guess Who turn tournaments coming up in the future yes. so all i have to say guess who deeply fought flawed game <laughs> huge variance in terms of which person you draw and whether or not they have hair or a beard or glass do you remember if they if you had someone with like glasses or who was like it was like bald, two people exactly you yeah. were just in trouble talk about variance and magic variance and guess who very very high, high. <laughs> 
Uh, next up, we have a couple of arena announcements. <laughs> These are just their normal events that are happening. There's a yeah. 100 card historic brawl through Woo! June 25th, where you can win Japanese mystical archive card styles. They also announced that they've unbanned Golos and Winota in historic brawl. Okay. Because they think that the format can probably support it, although they will keep their eye on it. You can play Dominaria drafts until the 25th. And do yourself a favor and do, do it. it. Do it. They are so fun. I love Dominaria. There's something new called the Chromatic Cube coming on the 25th, which we don't have details on yet, but I assume we will soon. Yeah, and Jumpstart is continuing until July 8th, so if you haven't checked that out, get on in there and check it out. You can play as many times as you want, and what a wacky format. I love Jumpstart. Yeah, very fun. Uh, convention Edition Mystery Boosters return with in-store events, so beginning August 20th, limited quantities of Convention Edition Mystery Boosters will be available in WPN stores with in-store play events. Yeah. Yeah, so if you want to know if your LGS has some of those boosters, just ask them because they're pretty cool. Yes. Uh, hopefully you'll be able to play in one of those because it's pretty sick. And finally, there are some new comprehensive rules and Oracle changes from Modern Horizons 2. You can check them out if you want to over on Daily MTG. Yeah. Uh, the biggest change is lots of creatures got the Phyrexian creature type now that it's a thing. I feel like we've talked about Phyrexians a couple of times during the show, Megan. I wonder hmm. where they are. Interesting. <laughs> you know our speculation of that. <laughs> yep. Yep. Anyway, that's all the magic news you need for this week. Thank you so much for listening. You can check out our full-length podcast called Good Luck High Five anywhere you listen to your podcast or support this show and all of our other stuff over on patreon.com slash glhf magic 